Okay, today's video we're going to be doing a bit of sewing. I'm going to be making some tool rolls and some bags and other, other things. So many useful things that you can do with sewing. In fact, I think it's one of the most underrated skills that makers can pursue. We'll also be uh, looking at some of these products from Hawk Tools. They were kind enough to send to me just for trying out. Uh, some of these waxes that you can apply to canvases to protect those canvases, stiffen them up a little bit, make them waterproof, all those sorts of things. So I've got a bunch of products here from, from Hawk Tools, so we'll give those a go. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, so it'll be an honest appraisal. So I have four sewing machines, so let's have a look at those just real quickly. This guy weighs a ton. This is my first sewing machine. It's a FAF 230 1957. I had to restore it when I first got it. I paid $100 for it. It is a beautiful sewing machine. It works so nice. Let's put it aside. Whoop, oh, drop the cotton. This guy here is a Singer 201P. This one here made in Australia. Uh, this again, this is a straight stitch, straight stitch sewing machine. It is in beautiful condition. All I had to do was just uh, lubricate it and away it went. It hadn't been used for about 30 years. Straight stitch, cost me a hundred bucks and um, it's a wonderful machine. This was a very much sought after machine in its day. Let's put it aside. This guy I bought off eBay, made in China. It's a boot patcher. So I think I paid $180 for it Australian um, and I, I've used it for some leather work. It's a pretty good machine. Um, it's it you, you it's hand driven, so you turn the wheel and it, and it very useful for for stitching leather. This one is a walking foot, so it's a little bit special, meaning it's probably a bit more industrial, and uh, it's a straight stitch machine. I think it's the equivalent to the basic sailrite machine that you can get in the USA. Um, it's not as fast as this one and this one, um, but it will go through much heavier materials. My favourite is this one here, the FAF. It's my first sewing machine. I pulled it all apart and had to replace the dry belt in it. But I love it because it, the engineering inside it, when it stitches, it just sounds so nice. Um, my yeah, most useful one for me at the moment, for the type of work I'm doing, canvas and leather, is this one here because it's a walking foot. So it can handle thicker materials. These are okay, but they do tend to struggle. Um, underpowered, probably a bit lighter duty. Uh, they, this one is supposed to be like a light industrial but quite frankly in terms of it, it just for clothes, making clothes, not, not really the heavier stuff. You can punish them a little bit, you can push a bit of leather through them, through them but uh, they're, not, they're not ideal for that sort of work. Today I'm going to be using this guy here. I'm just setting up for my traditional wax method, just using my own wax, beeswax and uh, paraffin mix. I've got a video on this. So this next one is this Pointar fabric dressing. So the instructions are uh, place in a pot with some warm water. So I've got, I've got my pot of warm water about to heat all that up and plonk it in there. And then use a soft brush and we've got that from Hawk Tools. Test on a small area before use. Brush on a thin even coat with wax. Work wax into the fabric. Do not over apply wax. Rub into the fabric with fingers for uniformity and brush off excess with a clean bristle brush. Let's try it. So this one here is wait 24 hours before use. Let's do it.
I'm just going to remove it from the water because I don't want to get wax out of my pot. Let's see how it dries out. I think this block one might be just a bit easier to, for most people to use. So you just rub it in into the fabric and you can see it filling up all the pores of the, uh, of the canvas there. I'm just rubbing it through on one side then I'll flip it around and do the other side. And then I'm going to use the, uh, the heat gun and try and get the flow into the, into the, uh, the pores of the fabric. Alright, that'll probably do it. Just gotta let that dry. So it's the next morning now. I just wanted to point out the differences between my recipe of wax and the Hawk Tools recipe. This one's mine. Okay, so I'm just looking, pointing at the stiffness here. This is the Hawk Tools one. Okay. A lot more supple, pliable. Let's see how they go. About to do the sewing. So I've moved on to the Hawk Tools wax canvas now and it is noticeably softer. All the stitching's coming away here, so it might be time to run it through the machine and see if I can do it anyway. I stitched it through. <laughs> uh, stitched the top to the side. Uh huh. Wouldn't have happened, Scott, if you weren't showing off in front of the camera, you know.
try a bit of this uh, wax again on this tool roll that I've just made. So I'm just going to rub it in. So whilst we're making bags, let's let's make one for this welding helmet as well. Keep it dust free. Time to bring this old duck out. All right, let's stitch. Oi. I'm on zigzag. I don't want zigzag. Go back. This next part I don't know if I'm going to be doing right, but what's the worst that can happen? So I'm going to sew a round bottom on this bag here. Which way shall I put it? I'm going to put it that way so I can see. This crumples up, I'm blaming Rob Trovetta from New Zealand. Rob. Oh, here we go. Done. I'm just going to put a zigzag around it. I don't know if I'm in there. I'm just going to put a zigzag stitch around it to stop the edges from fraying. Because that worked. It's a huge bag. Time to wrap it up now. Uh, special thank you to Hawk Tools for sending me out the wax. It's a great product. I think it'd be particularly good for apparel, being hats and jackets and, and clothes, that sort of wax goods. Good waterproofing compound. Fairly soft product in terms of you get a, a soft result as opposed to the, the hard wax that I made. Uh, so thank you for, for that wax Hawk Tools. Go out and check them out. They've got some great products there. Now for the video. I, um, I certainly hope that I provided some inspiration for you to think about going out, maybe doing a bit of sewing. It doesn't need a lot of skill to build a minimum standard to produce something like, like this. There's not a high degree of skill required. Skills will build up over time where you can do more complex projects with your knowledge base just like anything. 
So just here in front of me, I show you show you a few tool rolls and some of the stuff I did in the very beginning and some of the stuff that I've, I've done more recent times and you can see a, a definite improvement. So it's a worthwhile thing to do. Um, I highly recommend it. Thank you everybody for watching the video. Special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Love to see you in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Go away, fly. Buzz off. I think maybe I'm saying Hawk Tools wrong. Hawk. Hawk Tools. Hawk. Maybe in the USA they don't know what a hawk is. Maybe a hawk. Hawk. Yeah. Hawk. It's a hawk. Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato.